Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to teach you simple, easy, fast how to make your own homemade, non-toxic weed killer. It is that time of the year and the weeds are crazy in my backyard. We have used more chemically based product, if you will. I'm not going to give specific names and they definitely do do the trick. However, I have three children and one on the way, so I like this option better. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna tell you the ingredients that we're gonna be using. We're gonna go in my backyard. We're going to kill a big patch of weeds and then I'll talk about some tips and tricks along the way as well. So what you're gonna need, I like this cleaning vinegar. And again, these amounts are gonna vary based upon how many weeds that you need to kill. But you're gonna need about a half a gallon of vinegar. Now I like this cleaning vinegar because it is slightly more acidic than regular old vinegar. I just picked this up at my local Dollar Tree. You're gonna need a half a cup of Epsom salt and about two tablespoons of Dawn dish soap. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have all three of these ingredients because they do do very specific functions when it comes to killing weeds, okay? Next, this right here is going to save you a ton of time. I believe my husband picked this up at the Home Depot for killing weeds. You can see I have the mixture already in there. It has a nice little handle here that you can spray. You can pick this up and carry it. All you need to do is fill it with your solution, pump it up to create some pressure, and then you are good to go. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go in my backyard here and I'll show you the patch of weeds that we're gonna be working with so that you can see the before and after. My husband has a reselling business. That's why he has so many um, boxes here in our garage. But if you're new here, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. This channel is all about cleaning and organizing. For busy women, I try to show you the quickest, easiest ways to get the job done so you get, get on to bigger and better things in your life outside of cleaning and organizing. I love a clean home, but I don't want to spend my whole life doing it. So let's head into the backyard with this, shall we? Here we are in the backyard. You can hear the birds chirping, but this is the big patch of weeds that we are going to destroy. <laughs> now over here, I did do a lot of weed pulling myself and then we did use the toxic weed killer to kill off the rest of it. Now, we will plan on landscaping this whole section of our backyard right here because you know what, mama does not want to be spending a Saturday pulling weeds. This was all landscaped like this when we bought the house a couple of years ago, which is very nice, but I ain't got time to be pulling weeds. So, what I'm gonna do, is I'm just going to show you here. This is really nice. Let me show you is the brand on there, Spectracide. This is the one that I'm using. It's nice. You pump it up, give it a lot of pressure. You have to do about, I don't know, a good 20 pumps or more to create that pressure. But then you can lock it in and then pick it up and carry it like that. So we're going to go like this. And I'm going to use you see what's in there? There's a good amount if I get you down low. There. I'm gonna do probably this whole patch right here. We're gonna spray it. I'm not gonna do this all on camera. You guys got better things to do with your time than watch me spray weeds. But it doesn't come out too strong. Let me give you an idea. Can you see that? Okay, we're gonna spray this. See how green these are? Very, very nice. So while I'm doing this, let me give you some tips and tricks here. Does this method work? Yes, it works. However, it does take longer and your weeds are gonna grow back more quickly. That's the honest truth with this method. However, it is pretty much all natural. You don't have to worry about if you have kids or children or pets um, or killing really anything. <laughs> But just be prepared that this method will work. Sometimes you have to do several treatments and your weeds, if you're not getting into the roots, will grow back more quickly. So I'm gonna spray this down and then I'm gonna let it do its job here this afternoon and then I will meet you back here so that you can see what it looks like once this is all absorbed into the weeds. All right. Okay, so I got this entire patch done right here. I used the whole contents of what was in my container and again, it was half a gallon of vinegar. Again, I used the cleaning vinegar. Half a cup of Epsom salt and two tablespoons of Dawn dish soap. Those birds are very noisy today. So I did leave this patch over here because I wanna be able to give you a comparison. Let me get down here really close. 
okay. I didn't spray any of these weeds and these ones I did right over here, this patch. Now in the description box, I have an entire playlist about how to clean and organize pretty much anything in your home. So I wanna just save you the most amount of time possible. If there's something to be cleaned, I have probably tried it. If you have questions about anything or want me to try something, definitely let me know so that I can save you time, money, resources, all of that good stuff. So let's let this sit. I'm probably gonna let it sit. Those are some noisy birds. I'm probably gonna let this sit for about four hours or so, and then I will meet you back here. Also, hit me up on Instagram, Andrea Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits, and this cleaning channel is one way that I do that. It'll make more sense if you check out the description box and Instagram. All right, see you soon. Okay, let's take a peek. It's been a couple hours later. The sun is shining over here, and you can see they have all turned white, those weeds. There's a few green spots here, some pretty um, resistant ones, but here is where I did not spray at all. Green with lots of weeds, and here is where I sprayed. They are quite crispy, like that. So yes, it will kill your weeds. Now, what I would probably do is do another coat over here again. This method works, but it does take a bit more time when you are using a more all natural product. What my husband will likely do is just come in and then weed whack these dead weeds right here, or I could pull them up um, as well because it'll be a little bit easier than pulling up fresh green weeds like this. Okay, so I want to show you, it's been a few days later since I did the, um, the treatment there. So you can see on the left hand side, that's where the weed killer the natural non-toxic weed killer that I used was. And then you can see over there. So you can see there that it has worked. So actually what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be creating a whole new batch. See all those weeds? <laughs> I'm gonna be getting those as well. So I would recommend it. Let me know in the comments box if you've tried this method before, if you like it, if you don't, but I hope that you found this helpful, especially if you're looking for something that is non-toxic and more all natural. Thanks for being here. And that bird is back <laughs> to say hello. We'll see you, my friend, in the next one.